you really get that lucky? You're a tournament player, so you love to bluff. My instincts say I'm supposed to put it in. I call. Oh, I won a pot with the sand earlier. 325. Is this a joke? It's like, it's like they're trying to give me the money. <laughs> Do as you please. Good call, you got it. Helmuth's aces gets cracked. Man, Phil's gonna call for more chips. He's trying to one out. Wow. Feels so unfair. Sands got this started to 175. Helmuth calls, Porter calls. Action is on the aforementioned Mr. Mather. The people who mind don't Mather, and the people who Mather don't mind. Apparently it does Mather to him. He raises with tens. That three bet is pretty small though. He's giving everyone better odds than someone walking into your office right after you ripped one. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you had a big decision there, right? You bought it for 5,000, right? Everyone looking at me. On the first bullet. Some really great hands here. I am excited. And we're gonna go four ways to this flop. Well, that's great when a 10 hits the flop, which it's going to right now. Now. No, guess not. Three spades, a six, four, and a deuce. Yeah, and there are two big spades out there. Helmuth with the ace of spades. Porter's got the queen of spades. Those two will be going nowhere. Sands has got a pair. I think if you're mad, they're betting here is relatively pointless. Well, Mather is gonna give it a try. 1,600 in the pot, and here comes the bet of 875. Good fold by Sands. Helmuth smells blood in the water and raises it to 1750. Not wanting to go all in, so he's got, you know, like $200 behind him. I think without the ace of spades, rep can't continue. Yep, he's out of here. What are you gonna do, Bob? One pair, no spade, eh, Bob? Bob? Eh, Bob, eh? Eh, Bob, eh? I could have beat you at one-handed golf last night. One-handed golf, is that what people are calling it these days? A raise and a call. Now, Phil is behind, but he is the favorite. Turn him up, right? Yeah, we're showing him. Oh. Nice hand. Oh, that, that hurts. Sometimes the statistics are right. Phil Helmuth, the favorite, somehow managed to win. Phil, are you superstitious ever? Superstitious? Yeah. Do you have any good luck charms? I, I believe in good luck. Like, yeah. If I, if I have a particular shirt on when I win a World yeah. Series tournament, you're you going to see that shirt a lot. No, but I mean, then I lose track. But, yeah. But during the series, like if there's a shirt that I win with, I keep that one. I'll wear it multiple times. <laughs> you, you remember the underpants you it, that you were wearing? It gets washed. When yeah. you won the World Series? Pocket jacks. I, have, I don't think that. For Mark Holt? I don't, actually, I didn't have underpants on when I won the main event. How about that? Oh, uh, that's TMI. Mando. TMI. Too much? Yeah. BVD TMI. We do not need to know that one. I would not have thought that Phil was a commando kind of guy. We are welcomed again with the presence of the world's greatest. Phil Helmuth calls with 6 7 of hearts. I just didn't have time to do laundry during the main yeah, event. Or <laughs> have somebody do it. King King 8. Flop. Jack's doing just fine. I think it's unlucky to be superstitious. How much? Three? Six. Nobody ever gets that. I get it. It just goes right over their head. Phil raising on this board, he is never raising with a king. Did you get it, Kelly? What? You didn't get it. What? It's unlucky to be superstitious. I get it. Maybe the problem is it's not funny. Another king on the turn, so there is no story that Helmuth is telling that Mark Holt will believe now. That's not, it's ironic. <laughs> How's it going repping that king, Phil? Because you would totally bet quads here, wouldn't you, Phil? That's what he wants him to think. 750? 750 the bet from Helmuth. And Lee Markle is going to fold his hand exactly never. 
There's the call. At least tough to beat, man. Tough to beat. Queen on the river. I got it. Pocket jacks, tough to beat. Tough to beat with seven high. I picked the wrong time. I see. I let you bluff me once, and I said, all right, now I'm going to get him. Spent a lot of time with family. Okay. You know, Your two, family lives in Seattle? The Tacoma area, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like 25 miles south of Seattle. You strike me as the type that does a lot of outdoor I stuff. I do. Yeah. Brought yeah. Porter yeah. raises. Hiking, Lots of hiking. Yeah. I was like cross country skiing last weekend. Nice. And, yeah. yeah, I went to. You uh, should brag on that one. I was, uh, let's play the hand. All right, everybody, on. stop playing poker. We have cross-country skiing stories happening. <laughs> cross-country skiing is literally the least fun thing you can do in the snow, and I'm including freezing to death. Would you stop talking? I'm trying to listen to their discussion. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I've done that a handful of times. We're ground. More ground. Yeah. 700 bucks back to Porter. Yeah. We were up around. We're you can fold eight high now. I've been to Sp I've eight been high. for Bozeman, Spokane, Bozeman, Seattle. I had eight high, I'd have to bluff. Do something silly when I put all my chips on. Hey, you know what's really easy about cross-country skiing? What's that? Not going. That area. Wow. There we go. There we go. There goes all my chips. <laughs> wow. OK. Oh, like that's a string call. I'm going to play one card. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. All fell. Here we go. Three tens for Porter. Yikes. You might be the best. I'll take that, though. Oh, well played, no. ref. <laughs> can we get a menu for high stakes and figure out what's the earliest we can order? Doc Sands is trying to order some food. I think the uh, high stakes restaurant here should name some of their dishes after these guys, like the Philly cheese steak or the Rep Porterhouse. I think there's a, like there's a dinner break. Regardless, like regardless, a regardless of the break, I still want food from there. So I'm going to order it, and then I'll figure out where I'm going to eat it. Or the Doc Sands witch. There you go. Thank you. It's a uh, 3.15. Or it doesn't matter. No, that, have you you've been here before? I guess you've been here once before. This high stakes restaurant is actually pretty legit. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, no, actually, what Doc means is the restaurant here is called legit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's called pretty legit. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, and it is legit. <laughs> oh Ooh, man. This. Oh no. Five. Phil Halmuth firing deader than that time they got a zombie to host The Apprentice. At the table from high stakes, and they you know they bring it out. Yeah, that's what like, I always do. It's really nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. but there she's like, okay, that's one hundred and ten dollars. Was like. <laughs> So I got to order when you're playing with Phil Helmy. You could have done better than that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're just not used to that. You know, sticker shock when you're playing at the poker table. Hopefully he slows down here on the turn. Yes, he does. How much? Eight? Eight. But decides to make a pretty loose turn call. And he checks there on the river. Phil doesn't come away with anything on the Flop Turner River. Man, man. I mean, he's probably pretty irritated that he didn't catch an ace or a queen here, but he's got no idea how fortunate that was. I know. People don't know. It's like I don't think Rep's ever not going to have a hand here. They're running so good against me. It's okay. I can't give you a penny. You just keep beating my hands. Congratulations. Yeah, I mean, but I only go. It feels like it's I been. So, I'm, I'm so bummed out. It's been so like, cold. Go Good fold. What is Doc thinking right now? Sands has ace 10, and he has a large wow. piece of wow. meat waiting for him behind him. No, I'm not talking about the guy in the gray coat. I'm talking about that piece of steak. Oh my gosh. I just can't have it every time, Doc. You, you bluffed me and bluffed me and bluffed me, and I just can't have it every time, right? Guess we'll see. Yeah, I'm not really sure about this three bet with nines. Phil's out of position, but. I think he's had it with Doc Sands. What do you think? Yeah, Phil may have lost it completely. 500. If he hadn't lost it before, he will now. One over card out there for pocket nines, and of course, Doc's got it. I think Phil's gonna turn up here with a better hand sometimes, but no way that Doc folds yet. Call. A raise and a call. Snap call from Phil. Generally, the faster Phil calls, the worse he's doing in the hand. It's a six of diamonds. 
Big dock bets again. Lots of straight and flush draws to charge Phil for. I'll just grab this amount of chips. Mm. Yeah, that puts Phil all in. Phil's likely to think he has the best hand here, but first of all, he's got no diamond. Second of all, sometimes you gotta take a look at the guy that's always, 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 always had it tonight and be like, meh, maybe he's got it. That's gotta come to an end sooner or later, and you gotta take advantage of that. Like, he's gonna get people to fold because they're thinking he's just unbeatable tonight. Well, maybe this is the one time where he's simply beatable. Doc, that steak looks amazing, by the I way. I know, I gotta go back to it. does look it. really good. Oh, good? and Doc gets into that steak. <laughs> there is something hilarious and amazing about Helmuth, distressed and deep yeah, in thought, debating yeah. whether or not to call off his stack with second pair while his opponent, with his back turned to him, cuts a slice of steak, pairs it with a veggie, and eats like it, knowing he's stuff. probably getting called and winning the hand. Such a good color. I mean, uh, Bravo. Wait, Bravo. <laughs> it's like, it's honestly, it's I'm like really this entire shot right, right here is being directed by David Lynch. Very it's very your very night, right. Sands. Eat it up, buddy. All right, right, I call. Here's the call. I'm chewing steak. I flip my cards. Give me the money. Ace 10. Go ahead, Doc. Ah, uh, wash it down with some expensive water. Yum. No Life is good. And Phil's behind, but he's not drawing dead. 6% of the time, he's gonna double up here. Dang. That unlucky 94% of the time. I have money. Here, Phil. I have a 5K on me. Doc, I don't want any money, thank you. The script about my life's been in Hollywood since 02. Yeah, how's that going? Well, obviously, in turnaround. <laughs> We, hey, I hey, had a dream in 02 as well. And uh, this Here's is what you call the movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, is it my turn? It yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. Interesting well, story. I'm leaving then. soon. I oh, boy. So. I think you're going to be here a while. Oh, boy. Phil, would you let me read to play you? Would you let me audition? Well, if you can play Who's a 24-year-old. Who's going to from Facts of Life? <laughs> the, movie, the movie occurs when I'm 24, so, you okay, know. Okay, so pre-jail. Okay. But, 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 but let me ask you something. Who could you really get to play? I mean, seriously. Well, we, we, uh, we had Ashton Kutcher for a while. Oh, we had, God. Uh, when he was young, we're Ashton talking about. Ashton Kutcher. We, a while, a little you, while back. Ser have you seen his work? It's abominable, Ashton Kutcher. Why don't you get Tootie from Facts of Life to do the early years? <laughs> Ashton Kutcher. Did you see him playing Steve Jobs? Oh, you know, I'm sorry. You see him playing Steve Jobs? Oh, any blank and I'm bombing. Okay. Bombing the turn. Oh. <laughs> I don't put you on a belly buster, so I'll bet. And you might have picked up a flush draw and a straight draw, so you might call six. Your Herman Munster is really good too, Brad. Thank you, man. I was actually, I used to love that show. Can you not show. talk when people are in a hand? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. Oh, <laughs> good, good one, Eddie. <laughs> I don't know why you called him. I'm not even going to pay it off if you hit a straight or a flush. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ashton Kutcher wouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, man, too bad for Kelly. I almost feel bad for Phil. Kelly's gonna animal. take it on down to Valueville. One thousand is the bet from Winter Halter. Call. And a quick call from Phil. Ace four. You know, Phil said he Ace wasn't gonna pay it off if the straight I card came. It. I don't know how to tell him this, but the four is a straight card. You know that. How much is it? How did poker, no, what's that we smell? We have three bet Not clothing. Poker. Right, I know you have clothing. We That's... have the Kimo Sabi Mezcal. I hear you, I hear you. Don't forget your headphones. Yeah, music headphones. You have, have you seen these headphones? Oh, okay. Seriously. Haven't. What other kind of you headphones probably have are there music. that you would sell? I haven't. They have their own app. Okay. We signed, we signed this guy named Kevin Hart. He's a comedian. Never heard of him. This other guy named Michael <laughs> Jordan. Michael Jordan? Yeah, this other guy named White Drake. Fella? I don't think you've heard of these Drake guys. I've heard of. You heard of Drake? Uh, I'm a big Drake fan. I go okay, to most yeah. of his stuff. Drake? You know I rap. I don't know if you know that, Phil. I do a lot of rap. Let's hear one. Let's hear do, line. Well, it's, it's Hasidic. I don't think you'd get it. <laughs> Nobody else got that, Joe. Yeah, I know. I, I know you're Donkey one of my people, bomber. But you keep Oh, hiding. my instincts say yeah. get out of your way this hand, but I feel oh. like. God. No. Oh. All right, there we go. That's what I like. You got just a little action from me. I like it. Okay, I love this. Just I got in case my read was the winner, I'll announce it now. You like that my hand? Just... I might make a straight. Right. That's got you the might. hand. What do we have? <clears throat> 
Flop is queen seven nine, brought to you by Kimosabi. Donkey Mimer has jacks. Phil hits top pair. Hey, maybe he's going to run ball. reasonably well today. Oh, Matt. We had to get rid of Matt, though. The Matt Glance is open-ended. Yeah, when he makes his straight, he's going to head down to the harbor and unload some pallets. Matt, Matt, what are you doing in here? Don't you know this is a private party? I should fold. 17. Another club comes on the turn, but it doesn't seem like Lance cares. He is raising to 1,700. Really? All right, I don't think you have it, Matt. This sucks. I was trapping somebody else, and you got involved. It, it, like, it hurts, you know what I mean? Like, And that is a complete swing and a miss on the river for Glantz. Phil's queen's still good. 24. I've seen Phil make way worse calls than this. Come on, buddy. All right, you deserve it. You got it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I wow. called him a tenant. Wow. Man. What a call this is. I wish how I, did I call you a I wish I had a tie in the river. I need a tie in the river. What the? I mean, how did I make that call? That was like wow. world class right there. Nice right. hand. Now the raising King Jack off. Is he still in politics? He was a senator in Oklahoma for a while. Yeah. Okay. He did well. I just want to see Phil win. Like, it's no fun if Phil's not winning. Like, we've already seen plenty of Phil gets beat tonight. Let's get some Phil winning in us, huh? It ain't looking good for him here, because Matt Glance, that old son of a gun, has yeah, rockets. Squeeze the most out of his athletic ability than any other football player yeah. in the history of the NFL. Largent? Largent. Middle pair for Helmuth. He wasn't super fast. He wasn't like he just had what about ran Brady? perfect routes and what about didn't, Brady? Didn't drop the ball. How about Chris Collinsworth? 700 the bet from Glance and a call yeah. from Helmuth. He carried it on to such a long career in broadcasting. Hard to take anybody with Brady. Seventh round pick. Yeah. Ah, uh, there we go. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Now that he is two pair, he is the poster child for why playing good is overrated. Because when he plays good, he loses. And in this hand, I'll just say he's going to win. You figure out the rest. 1,100 the bet from Helmuth. Our race. <laughs> <laughs> I have two pair. Yeah, Phil's two pair very likely to be good, and River, he's good. Home and dry. Oh, he lost his mind. I was, uh, I was not afraid of that six in the turn. <laughs> was six bad. was that the was best card ever. <laughs> six was gin. How long's the break? 150, 150. How long's the break? It's an hour break? Let's do less, less than that. Enough time to eat, that's all we need, right? Yeah, that's well, there's good. a food court here. We just go Lovely. there. Lovely. Ace King of Hearts for Matt Glantz. Even if Glantz is just messing around, Ace Nine's not ever going to be in great shape. Phil decides to make the call. There you go. <laughs> Better get that all out now until he's three. Yeah. He's going to be sick. <laughs> Flop is 10, 8, 7, brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal. Phil flops another draw. Phil has missed more times on TV than the collective enemies of the A team. I thought you were going to say he's missed more times than the entire cast of Friends after Friends. <laughs> yeah, that too. Wait, do we miss them or do they just miss million dollar paychecks every no, day? No, they still get those, okay. which, which is That's weird. True. Yeah. Helmuth calls. The one where Helmuth finally makes a straight? No. Just Matt Glance making a dominating hand. It's these two again. Mm -hmm. So Phil doesn't miss the turn, and it's a fight. terrible card yeah. for him. That means when he misses the river, he's still going to lose something. And he does. Helmuth comes up empty. Meanwhile, Glance is just like, I love it when a plan comes together. 1900 the bet from Matt Glantz. Call. And another quick call from Phil. Matt Glantz hoping to win enough to leave great. his dock working During job behind. Hand. During the hand? If someone yeah, made a good commentating and they saw oh. they go. Poker Night oh. is brought to you by Sit and oh, Go 2.0. Oh. 
That, that won 20 bucks off of Tom, that, that bet. Yeah, that was, was that the $20 you got from me? Yeah. I know, I know, I got it. I, I know where you're leading. Who taught you to play poker? What? No, I would I never talk about how bad. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he made it one yeah. King Jack Seater, a fun hand to call with. I would never bet. Try to call? Yeah. Talk about that. <laughs> what do you have left there, Matt? $2,700. How much to get you to fold? Five fifty. Oh wow! Pocket aces for Hellmuth. Five fifty. Five fifty. We're up to five fifty from Phil. <laughs> Let's jump him. I think he's gonna check in the dark. Yeah. How fast Matt call a Jack Eight? It's like Maybe. he really, Maybe. really, really doesn't respect Phil's game at all. Yeah. Wow! Big flop. Hellmuth's got a set of aces. Bracey's got the Royal flush draw. One down. All right, I'll be your Huckleberry. Fortunately for Phil, Huckleberry has got a big draw and can pay this off. Oh man, wow, Phil. That I have to check. Just wow. Phil Helmuth, the favorite to lose again. I think Bracey missed a bet there. Yeah, he earns a little deception, but I just don't think Phil's gonna fold after playing this hand so strong. Stop and go. How much? Here comes the raise. Call. And a snap call from Phil. You know, I don't think I've ever seen Phil call that fast and be right. I mean, you really long. I run bad. Wow. What the He really does run kind of bad. I think I peaked early. I got to learn to really maybe just. You know, slow play, even the, even the one-liners. What do you think, Tony? Absolutely. Yeah. Does your agent ever tell you, Brad, maybe when you go into an Indian reservation, you don't make fun of the nat natives? Um, ever they tried that, that once. <laughs> <laughs> they tried that once. Your new agent doesn't say that? No. Right. Why do you think you needed a new agent? No, they, it just makes me go more, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Which is an illness. <laughs> Still the new year, right? Okay. You just misunderstood, that. that's all. I call. So Garrett's in, action on Phil. I call. Price is right for him. Are you in this hand? Yes, I am. Really? Hold on. Yes, I am. I'm gonna bet 1,500 dark. What do you mean? 1,500. I don't I'll want tell you what, Phil, getting I'll, a read on me on the flop. I'll tell you what, Phil, I'll call it if you call it dark. This proposal heavily balls. favors oh, Matt Glantz. You don't have some balls once in your life. That's what I'm saying. You don't have much more than 1,500 anyway. So I'm if you guys in. agree to that, that's fine. I'm all in. All in the dark. You know before. I'm all in the dark. <laughs> oh. yes. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Now, what do you do, Phil? I, it's your I want to see a flop. But, so, but I'm going I'm to wait whenever we can do it. You can see a flop. Of course I can see a flop. Can? Phil really should He's be able wild. to see this flop like if he that. wanted to. Action was completed. I would have waited, but. I would have waited. I would have waited. Right, yeah. But you don't have to. Flop. I will wait. I think she's, you only have to. You will wait. How many cards do you have down there? Just two. Here we go. You got oh, oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's but, but it's a well, Tommy yeah. flop. But yes. I, think, I think that flop it's is going to get me. How much? Yes. Oh, yes, it is going to hit you, Phil, for once. You know, Let me guess, Phil's in now. Well, because 28, 25. We, we, all the action no, was done. Then so I mark on the Brad's being awfully generous, yeah. except for the fact that he's tipping the dealer with yeah. money that's Fun technically man. in the pot. The She's so sweet. So How much year. is it? Happy New Year, honey. You're in the rooster. <laughs> 28.50. 28, Later on, yeah. we'll do a dance with the dragon. Yeah. Did you really flop You're a set, a Phil? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you he very really much. A set? A set? Come on, Philly. Did you really flop a set, Phil? That sucks. No, we didn't. All right, I'm all in. Wow. I mean, you just called 2875 without flopping a set? <laughs> Is this real? I'm all in. Uh, you did flop a set, right? I'm all in. Yeah. Top wow. Set. No. No. How can you move all in? I'm only calling because I flop okay, a set. It doesn't matter. Woo! 28, I need a king, baby. Brad needs a king. Matt needs an acer straight. Oh, a three. Oh, a little sweat. A little up. sweat. Oh, man, a three would be so... Oh, <laughs> no! Oh. Wow. I'm sorry, Phil. Oh, you got to learn how to read the dealer. And look at Phil. He's gone. you got to learn how to read the dealer. He's on a walk. 
Phil Hellmuth is out of his mind about a lot of things, but how bad he runs on TV is not one of them. That's why we played the game! Hello. I'm good. I'm right. You know, there is one update from Poker Night in America. You remember my brother, Tad, who wouldn't stop getting on camera? I do remember him. I believe Sean Deeb had him fired from the production. I don't know why. I don't speak with Tad all that often, and my mother will not inform me what happened. So. Back to sweeping the floors with those peep shares. Hashtag fans of Tad. It's not happening. All right, brand new player coming to seat seven. This is Jed Hoffman. Magic Mike. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are, you, are you sure his name's Jed Hoffman and he's not just in witness protection? That is a rather suspicious beard, hat, sunglasses yeah, kind of thing yeah. going on here. Thank you. Indescript clothing. Tom. Jed, how you doing? Three Jed, aces nice out so far. <laughs> Kelly likes those pot odds. Queen Trey, not the best hand, but they are suited. All right, four players to the flop. Yeah. As of right now, it's Porter's got the best. Let's see if that holds up. This flop brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal. And Kelly, who has started with the worst hand, has flopped the best draw. She could also maybe bluff her way out of this on the paired board if she misses, but we'll have to see all what happens first. So if you guys are wondering why the table went quiet, it's because Tom Schneider needed to charge his phone. That is 100% true. He has unplugged everything. Look at the monitors. Hope it's worth it so you can crush candy. None of the other cameras are working. In fact, you might even lose us for a second. And we're back. What did Helmuth, we miss? How many has been 500? <laughs> Forgot what I have. Tom, seriously, yeah. dude. Time. I thought just his jacket was causing interference, but no, he actually just unplugged the whole thing. Good job. So it's down to Phil and Kelly, and she is going to stick around, chase that flush. Doesn't find it on the turn. Helmuth seven, still good. Kelly can now try to bluff this if she wants. She checks. Seven. 700 now from Helmuth. And now it's looking like she is going for it. No, she just calls. Deuce on the river, Winterhalter misses. I mean, I figured she wow, wasn't gonna let this get to showdown with Queen High. She waits to the river to make her move, and Phil doesn't even that, consider man. a bluff. He just falls. Why did you run like this yesterday? I know. <laughs> I wanted to. Yeah, I always have it too. It's so f***ing cold blooded. Nice play, Kelly Winterhalter. Winterhalter executes. Lee Markholt raises to 175. Yeah, you definitely were uh, mixing it up a little more earlier today. Here comes Schneider with 9-7. <laughs> Can you tell he's stuck? Winterhalter with fours. Helmuth with Jack-10 of diamonds. Everybody's getting involved. Oh, that's good enough. Yep, here you go. Come on, Bracey. You know you want it. Poker Night in America, brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. And what is Rep Porter thinking about doing? Who didn't know? <laughs> Punish the limper. <laughs> he was it's thinking about squeezing. Yeah. Yeah. He was thinking about punishing. I wish he squeezed for about 600 more, because I think it might have gone, call, 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 call. Yep. I wasn't thinking about squeezing, just like min raising, making a 400, mm. see what happens. Flop is 10, 7, 4. Helmuth hits his 10, Winterhalter makes a set, Schneider hits his 7. Yeah, I just can't wait to see how much top pair is going to cost Phil. Up and down draw for Bracey. This is going to be a family that's going to ship a lot of money around this table. So Schneider bet 500, Winterhalter calls, action is now on Helmuth, <laughs> he's popping it. Oh, Philly. I guess everyone touched that flop except you and I, right? And I already know Kelly's all in on my call. Yeah. And you have somehow kingpin. Oh, you somehow have a set. 
Why wouldn't you? Wow. I thought uh, somebody had a set of fours. I thought it might be you, Phil. It's Phil. No. Please don't do it. Oh. Well, I need a 10 or a 7. Uh-oh. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't Kelly? Why wouldn't Kelly get lucky against me? And Kelly Winterhalter continues have to have a man? big night. Jack seven oh. against me. Um. Bluff. <laughs> Eight nine. This thing's never been good for me. Not. <laughs> Three. That was a not joke. Really worse than Borat. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Hello, sir. He was on to get under uh, Dan Smith's skin. Phil. Action on Maria Ho. Maria been kind of quiet tonight, other than Pepper playing that first come. hand. Oh, what, well, she's in now. Just, uh, I was not trying to get under his skin. Like that, that kid. Like he's crazy, man. He's straight crazy. Like I mean, he's a really good player. But yeah, I mean, play a couple yeah. of hands. Super. He doesn't seem like a very top pair and a flush draw. It's pretty. I mean, I, I, I three bet him like three times in like seven hours, and I had it twice. And he moved in every time. Maybe you're the crazy one, Phil. Maybe he had it. You're yeah, the one that's three in the nine deuce, the ten deuce. Yeah, he kept having the ten deuce. And yeah, the maybe nine. you're the crazy <laughs> Northern <laughs> European. <laughs> Ace Jack, hi, Maria. Yahtzee. Ace of diamonds on the turn. Maria Ho in 12. business. Elmuth drawing dead. I think I got bluffed a lot today, Phil. You have to very let many folk kings before. It's very important to, to survive, to allow yourself to get bluffed here and there. You gotta feel okay about it. Come on. <laughs> she really <laughs> did hit him. Like every time you f always seems to have enough. He might want to try having a little bit more of a poker face. It's a bad feeling. Look at this betting and knocking him off. Statistically speaking, when Phil puts his glasses in his mouth, he is a 0% win rate at Showdown. Maria Ho, bluff-tastic or had it? Fantastic. Yeah, are we all straddling? I, I've just been doing it. I don't know if we're all doing it. Not everyone. Are we all doing it? Yeah, everyone hasn't okay. done, I don't think. Locke is straddling, regardless of whether anyone else is going to do it after him. Maria Ho makes it 300. Okay. Helmuth calls. Phil, I was wide open last time with a medium pair, too. I know. I don't know if Greg the very last time I don't know if Greg medium pair. Want to though. He might not want to. Why? No, Bill Lee will job. call. He might not want to play. No, he will. We're good. I had a job from like. Uh, yeah, we know you're straddled. Okay. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> and Phil Lee. Okay, we're, we're good. I love that Greg's when you're ready joined, to let's get the not even in the game. He had aces when I did something. Ah, too much talking. I can't pay attention. is. Probably Jack 7-4 brought to you by Kimo Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Like you? Top you? pair for Helmuth. Bottom pair for Locke. If we had Middle pair for Maria. Payoff, I would have oh, tried yeah, to win. So like that? I might not have lost that, because... but I would have given a little go. Suited. What is going on? That's a quick call. Sorry, you're going to hand it Threes? Phil, threes? Oh, no. I'm in a different range. He would have raised. Threes? I'm in a different range this time. Much different range. I have no idea what he's got. Sorry to leave you hanging. Queen of Spades on the turn. Maria bets 1,600. What the f is going on here? She has got Phil Helmuth twisting here. Oh, every real hand I have, I just lose. You know, some of these rationales from Helmuth are beginning to border on senile. Oh, and she's going to get him again. And now she's up more. Maria Ho. Fantastic. Action on Greg Mueller. I think Greg's the best at getting it. A. Seven deuce. He folds. Merson folds his big blind. And so now we're up to Phil Helmuth in That's the straddle with last option here to call. Eight. Eight. I'll take this one, love. You take the next one. And Phil's been saying this since the big game, at least. Taking turns. Quite the rail building out there, but honestly, it looks it's more like right people right are trying to come in from the rain than poker fans. A little more than that, I think I have. I think I have five left. So Liv Barry calls. Flops 10, Jack so King, no, brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Has a better chance of having Phil does it. not continue this flop, which I don't understand with his stack behind. He should be looking to build a pot. Jack, check. Here comes the turn. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Phil was looking for Liv to bluff this, but that is simply not going to happen anymore. This is amazing. Phil thinks he's trapping. 
I guess I call just aces. Check. Bill checks on the river. It feels played this hand more like he's got queens or a jack in his hand than aces, so Liv's gonna size her value bet for a hand like that. Very nice sizing from Liv. There's the call from Phil, and this is what you get when you check the flop. Where the f do I even play in this f game? Are you saying? Huh? Oh, aces. Oh, darn. Unlucky. She somehow makes a set. It's like so unfair. The people at home don't even get it. They don't even know how deep we are. You have to be careful. It doesn't she matter. I still lose. Physics. The public doesn't know what we're talking about. Just look at her laughing. She knows I got her dead on. I wear it multiple times. Do you remember the underpants you that you were wearing? It gets washed. When yeah. you won the World Series? I don't, actually, I didn't have underpants on when I won the main event. <laughs> how about that? Oh, uh, that's TMI. Commando. TMI. Yeah. I would not have thought that Phil was a commando kind of guy. You guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, uh, how about this video next? Or, or what about this one? I never talk when I play, but I'm like, maybe it's like. Talking I mean, when playing has never been good for me. Not. <laughs> Three.